Hey guys, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram for extra content you won't see here. Click the links in the description below. Hey, what's up guys? Eora94 back again here with another action figure review. Today we're going to look at the Bandai Tamashii Nations SH Figuarts. This is the San Diego Comic Con 2018 exclusive Vegito. So first and foremost, let's take a look at the eye-catching new box art we got for this exclusive uh, figure. We have a different looking box. He changed it up a bit. Looks like it's just for the event exclusives. And uh, I think I like it. I think it looks really cool, a little bit different, and it makes it unique for the exclusive figure. So we got Vegito on the front, and this is not no regular Vegito. This is Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito, or Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. So very cool. We finally get a highly requested figure by many people. It is a repaint as all the SDCC exclusives are, which is fine by me. And it is going to be using the old body, but we'll get into that once we open him up and take a look at him in hand. Here is the side of the box. We get a picture of Vegito right there posed up. The other side just says Vegito event exclusive color edition and then on the back side we get some poses of the figure and that's about it so let's crack them out it's also worth noting you know before we crack them out the box that you can see the san diego comic con logo in the background he put that in the back there so that's pretty cool it's the first time they ever done that so along with the sticker or not the sticker is printed on the box actually uh, the logo is printed right there and then we got the logos in the backs now this is, I guess, to differentiate the uh, this version versus the regular event version. As you know, Bandai is doing the Dragon Ball tour uh, around the North America. And uh, we have this exclusive being sold at those events too. But uh, it's not going to be in this San Diego box. So the heavy, heavy collectors are going to have to buy another one if you guys really, really uh, need to have both versions. But if you don't, then just grab whichever one you would like. But the other one's not going to have the SDCC logos anywhere. It's just going to say event exclusive down here and nothing in the back there. All right, and there we have Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito out of the box. And if you are not aware that all of these San Diego Comic Con exclusives are repaints, then either you've been lost or you're just getting into the line. Uh, but yes, they're always going to be repaints. So that answers the question on why they use the old body mold uh for this figure it's because they didn't you know they can't use the 2.0 body they, they can't make a new figure as the con exclusive uh they've never done it i don't think it's a rule that they can't but i think maybe it's an internal rule that they make for themselves because they've never ever ever at all made a brand new figure for san diego comic con exclusives and that's good i'm happy about that i mean could you imagine how hard it would be to uh, attain those if it was uh you know if they made let's say Raditz for San Diego Comic Con only and not a regular release though you know the world would end it'd go insane you know it'd be crazy crazy anyways onto the figure so this is cool I think it came out nice first impressions it looks really nice in hand it's really solid the joints are really tight you can see it's not it's not bending unless you bend it yourself so I like how it's holding its own it's a very solid well built together figure it looks good uh, I think the original one was also good build too so I think they, they haven't really ran into those problems since the first couple years of their, their run on this line when they used to have loose joints all over the place. But uh, I think they, they're they pros by now, hopefully, right? So let's go ahead and dive into the accessories first before we get into the figure. So we do get our crossed arms effect or accessory here, which I've always liked. I like that they do this. It's a very nice option to have. And then we do get a alternate powered down hair so that's cool you can have a regular vegeto once again uh, and this is slightly painted differently than the original we'll compare them but this was more brown color than the black that the original release got we also do get the spirit sword effect which is always cool i always like this effect so that's nice and then we do get alternate faces so we get on the figure we have a regular neutral face as always right there so this is for the Super Saiyan Blue version, and then we get a looking to the side face for the Super Saiyan God hair, and then an angrier powering up effect with his mouth open, and that's it for the Super Saiyan God. And then we get two faces for the power down, which is a screaming face, which is different. You can see the eyes are looking to, the, to his left, our right, for the God version, and then just straight forward on the power down, and then the final power down face is looking to his right our left neutral face pretty much 
along with the fists that the figure has already packaged in, we get two open hands. These are typical, pretty standard here, two blasting open hands, and then we get two grabbing hands here, and then we get the spirit sword hand, so this is what you would put into the effect for him to hold it right there. And just like the original, these grabbing hands are just repaints of regular hands, so you can actually see the fingernails there. They didn't uh, bother to uh, you know do a new sculpt on these. Again, it's a repaint, they're not gonna do that. And the original one did have the same thing where they just painted over uh, regular hands, painted it white so you can see fingernails. And it's just for these. If you look at the other open hands, you can tell he's wearing a glove and not painted over his his hand there's no fingernails or anything like that so just worth mentioning that all right back to vegeto i think you guys are going to be pretty pleased with this figure overall i don't think the original one was too hard to obtain i think it's still available is it i don't even know if it's uh out of print or if you know amazon still sells it or big bad toy store still sells it stuff like that i would uh check but I think, um, I don't think it was that hard to get anyways. I think it was just a regular release. Can't remember it being a, an exclusive, but I, I could be wrong. Anyways, uh, this is very nicely done. I love the shading on this figure. It's got some good shading on the blue gi area. That looks nice. The orange is a nice orange. Everything looks pretty darn good. I like the, the, uh, the spray, I, like they airbrushed um, some orange on his skin tone. Uh, I do like that. They did it a little much over here on this forearm. Not sure if you can tell. That one has more than this side. So, a little too orange there, but it's it's, it's okay. I could live with that. Uh, but I do like that they, they, they painted it over the uh, the lines, the, the muscle lines, I guess you can say. So, overall, the paint is nice. There is a few little like scuff marks here and there which it's very unexpected for sh figures uh, they you really don't see those issues again this is my particular figure they're all going to be a little slightly different when it comes to those things but you can see a little bit on his glove here and again it's very subtle so it's like a little speck it's little things like that it's nothing major at all but it's worth pointing out because you can see it when you have it in hand uh, it's like little lint marks on it very hard to see, so it's not a big deal. Now there is a difference between the sword effects here. Uh, we have the original down below right here, so we got more transparent plastic, translucent there. You can see clearer through the yellow, and then this is more more yellow. Very hard to pick up. You can see the difference there. Very subtle difference. I don't know which ones you guys prefer. Maybe leaning towards the original one there. As far as articulation, we got the head moving left and right. This is everything that we've seen before in the original Vegito. It's going to go up on a ball jointed hinge, it's going to go down. We do get a swivel at that neck. It is articulated, very stiff, but it does move. Then we got the arms going forward and back, in and out. A hinged sleeve there, so it can uh, allow the arm to move a little bit more. We get a bicep swivel, a double jointed elbow. Swivel at the wrist with a hinge, it's on a ball jointed hinge there. Then we get the waist swiveling left and right. It goes back and it goes forward. Get the legs that drop down. The SH figure is down. This is actually very stiff on this one right there, but you can see it there. So it allows more movement to go forward and back and to go in and out. Just move it right back up and you're good to go. Uh, the legs are going to bend double jointed. The old knees again. And then we got the ankles going forward and back. There's a swivel there and there is a pivot along with a toe hinge. So I'm trying to get some of the dust off of my old Vegito figure. This is the original release of this body mold or this character, Vegito. And you can see the huge difference in paint. I gotta say, I do like the new updated paint job here. I think it looks nice. I like the lighter blue and the brighter orange there. Looks very good on the new one. And we also get a light blue belt instead of this dark blue that pretty much matches the rest of the gi on the original there. And overall... You can see there is shading on the new one, and the old one really didn't have any shading at all. It's got some on the back right there on his back, and that's about it. I don't see it on the legs like you do see it here. Got some shading at the groin area, down here at the baggy parts of the knee, so it is noticeable there at the torso. So I do like that. Overall, the colors look a lot better on the new one. Uh, for sure, at least in my opinion, they do look better. They both have that little airbrush on the arms, so that's cool. The bottom of the feet, 
actually have gray on the uh, on the SDCC version and it is just a white and yellow right there on the original version not that it matters I guess but that's that's a difference there you know aside from the paint job overall so I did take a look at some of the screenshots and some clips of this show real quick just to, to see if this is accurate and it seems like when he first when we first see Vegito in the original Dragon Ball Z series fighting Majin Buu and he turns or they fuse and them turning into Vegito it seems like the hair was black as black as you see the original figure right there and then you can see the difference there it's brown on the SDCC version and it seems like in Dragon Ball Super it does have a brown tint to it it's not completely pure black like it was in the Dragon Ball Z series I don't know why the change uh, but at least they I guess remained accurate there and I guess this is okay for them to uh, change the color to brown because it was indeed a a brown color in Dragon Ball Super so that's interesting but we did get a correct color for the hair there so if that's a big deal to you guys now you can have a regular Vegito with the brown hair brownish blackish hair it's more brown than anything but uh, but yeah there you go so you have a little bit of both versions but I think we can all agree that everyone getting the STCC version is gonna want to display it in the Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan form and we are now finally able to replace this god-awful Dragon Star Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Vegito figure the only uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito that we've gotten in 6 inch form until now finally that uh, Bandai released their version far superior than this uh, as you guys seen in my review, if you guys watched this review of this figure, I don't like this figure at all. And it's with good reason here, night and day, just for kicks and giggles here. Just go ahead and do a little comparison next to them two here, just for fun. Here's a little closer shot of them two next to each other there. Alright, and that will do it for this review of the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito, also known as Super Saiyan Blue. Which ones do you guys prefer? I think I do like the original one, even though it sounds silly saying Super Saiyan twice. It just sounds more uh, more cool, I guess, than Super Saiyan Blue. I don't know. I do like Super Saiyan God. It's more God-like. But anyways, uh, this is the review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I think this is well worth the purchase. Uh, pick this one up for sure before he hikes up in price. Now, I do think the price will go down more because he is being sold at all these other conventions from from Dragon Ball Tour uh, by Tamashi so I would be a little patient in case you guys were trying to grab one now off of eBay something like that or some of the resellers are selling it for double the price uh, wait on it because I think the price will drop definitely they got six more conventions six more locations where they're gonna sell this figure and that price has to go down I do think we're gonna get Izamasu in the future for figure arts that it's a given there's no way they're not gonna make him so he's gonna look great next to him once he does arrive and whether or not we're going to get a 2.0 version of this figure, that is quite possible. You know, I'm okay with that. They release a new one with a new mold. That's okay by me. Uh, definitely probably going to be a lot better than this. But as for now, this is definitely a great looking figure. Even though it is using the old mold, I do actually recommend this figure a lot. So, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, leave a like down below if you liked the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And subscribe if you have not done so already. As always, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.